Welcome to ClickView Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh Good. I'm a Solutions Architect here at ClickTech. Today I'm going to show you a basic server install. There are many different configurations that you can install your server on, and I highly recommend you consult with a ClickView professional prior to doing any installations. I, I here have a uh, dedicated machine, which we'll be installing ClickView on. Uh, I've also gone ahead and uh, logged in as an administrator and created a second administrator account specifically for ClickView to run the services and jobs that are going to be required. Uh, I've downloaded the software here and I'm going to execute that now to unpack the various uh, components required for the installation. After a couple minutes, uh, we're taken to this dialog uh, box here, which will take us through the wizard of the installation. So we'll click Next. Uh, we now need to select our region. I'm in Canada. Click Next. And we'll review the license agreement and accept it. Type in the uh, username and the organization. Click Next. And we'll accept the default values for these uh, file locations. I'm now given the selection of the various components I'd like to install with, with this uh, server. We, uh, we can install some of the components or all the components on a server. However, in a simplified uh, example like we're doing here, we're going to install all the components on the single machine. So we'll select single machine right here and click Next. We now need to specify the uh, account that will run the services. You'll notice that you can specify it later. I recommend against that because you need to go find all the individual services and assign them to the correct account. And that can be challenging uh, uh, if you're unfamiliar with, with ClickView. So definitely do not skip this step. So we'll click Browse. And we'll have to find the server domain. We'll click Browse. There's our server. Click OK. And now we're going to browse and find our um, username. There's the uh, user we'd previously set up, like we discussed earlier. We'll select that, and then we'll click OK. We now need to uh, enter the password for this, uh, this admin user. And we'll click Next. Click View now go out and confirm that the uh, credentials and the uh, password are, are uh, congruent with the needs of ClickView Server. So we've now made all of the uh, customizations that we need to, and uh, now we can just simply hit the Install button, and uh, the program will extract all the files needed and install it onto our uh, server box. Uh, this will take several minutes to complete. Now that the installation is complete, we can hit Finish. And in order to complete the, to finish off the installation, we need to hit, uh, we need to restart the server. So we'll go down here, click Restart, and uh, the application maintenance. Click OK. Once the server is rebooted, we will now need to apply our license keys. So we can go to the ClickView Enterprise Management Console. Just navigate to that. There it is there. That will launch uh, Internet Explorer and take us in to the uh, Management Console. Then click on System, Licenses, Server, and Server Licenses. Then we enter our server uh, serial number, license code, and our control number here. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover up this since we all need our own license keys. I'll put that in my license key in there, and I'll type in my control number. And finally, I need to put in my organization and the name. And then I'll apply my license key. And we'll go out to the ClickTech servers and restart this server and have the license key applied. We can see that we've successfully applied the license key here. And I'll also point out that if you do have the publisher product, you will also need to click over here into publisher and then do the same process here and then apply the license as, as well. Uh, finally, what we can do, we can go back to the status and look at the services and we can confirm if the services are, are complete. Notice in my case my service is not completed because I haven't in, in put my license key into the publisher product. That concludes our uh, quick tips and tricks on how to install server. Please consult your ClickTech consultant for full server install.